All right, everybody, welcome to Physics Games. Looking at some more Shapes IO. Last time we left off, we were just starting level eight, so we're gonna jump back into it. Try to make some of these right half blue colored squares. So let's try to find some blue paint near a square. Looks like we got some here and here. Probably just take this one for now, and we'll work on that. So let's maybe start off by. Well, let's think about this. I can cut it and then I'd have to paint both halves, right? So that would require two painters per extraction. Or because it's just one flat color blue, I could paint the whole shape and then cut it. And I only need one painter per cutter rather than one cutter, two painters. So I think that's probably the way to go. Let's see if there's any upgrades that we can start working on. Um... Nah, probably not quite yet. Cutting, rotating, and stacking. I mean, I could just start putting these in there slowly. And then this guy is what we're going to be building right now. Do we have any of those pinwheels that are nearby? Oh yeah, there we do, right there. Let me just start putting those in so I can uh, eventually get this upgrade. So, let's make some extractors. Those do 0.8 a second. This does 8 items a second. So I could get, these do four. So I need to get the four. What's four divided by 0.8? Four divided by 0 0.8 is five. One, two, three, four, five. So bring these down into one, and then those, and then those, and then those. Oops, not a marker, I want it to move. So now I take this, bring that shape all the way over here. Okay, I'm gonna take that down there. Do that, that just freed up this little space for us. All right. Now let's get to work on what we actually need to do. Painting and cutting some squares. So what was the painter at? One third of an item a second, or one item every three seconds. And the extractor was 0.8. So I guess I need three painters per extractor. So let's... Extract upwards. We need to split that into three. So that's one, two, one, two, three, actually. Yeah. All right. And then I need three painters. So we want the shape coming in from the top and the paint from the right. I think that'll work. I don't really know if this is the best way to lay it out, but this seems pretty good to me where I have them slightly offset and I can use the tunnels, which is this guy here. Well, it doesn't make sense for that guy, but for the paint, maybe they use the tunnels. So the paint, yeah, the paint's gonna have to tunnel. So let's get the extractor. And then this also needs to split into three. This guy has to go to the bottom one. This guy goes to the middle. Like that. And to the top. Okay. So. Bring all those together. That should be good. Now we need to split that. Well, what rate is this gonna be coming out at? We did one extractor to three and then to the painter and then we put three painters together. So the three painters We'll give me one a second. 
And the cutter can do half, so I need to make two cutters. Okay, and I need a right hand side only. So this one I'm gonna have to flip twice. This does two items a second, and this does half, so that's fine. We can just use the one. And then bridge that together. So now we should have right hand side only. Yep, that's good. Now I would like to just combine it with this guy, but I think that's already saturated, so I can't. But what I can do is combine it with this guy, I think. Or I could just be lazy and do this. Boom. All right, nice. Do we have anything that looks like it's slowing us down? Is it waiting on paint maybe? Do I need more paint extractors? Well, we can check that really quick actually. Just delete all those. All right, so now should be easier to tell if anything's imbalanced. But it looks pretty good to me. Might be a slight hang up here, but I think that's pretty good. We can get this upgrade. Oh, nice, we already have that piece, so we just need to keep waiting and get it faster. That's good. All right, so let's make another one of these, I guess. And we'll bring this guy up here, over here, and put him in there. And we're getting the right hand side and it's blue, so it looks like we're set. Is this too much for that one? I think it's fine. Looks like there was just a little backup from all the ones that we had before we finished building. But that seems pretty good. All right, so this should be done shortly. I could make another one. And in fact, I might want to, because I feel like this number is just gonna keep climbing, right? Well, Hmm. Well, well, let's wait and see if this stays here after we get that upgrade. All right, level eight is done. Now we can mix colors using additive blending. All right. Oh, so that's how we're gonna get like cyan and purple. Okay. So we need purple circles. I assume purple is red and blue. That is my assumption. Let's find, there's some red and blue. So we can do that. Oh, we got another upgrade. Yeah, we do need more of these squares. You know what, it'll figure itself out. Purple circles, so. Color mixers do 0.6 items a second. Extractors do 0.8, so barely two mixers per extractor. So let's extract and split to two. And then the mixers, okay, so they come in on the bottom and come out the top area there. I don't know if I can put them that close. Maybe try one apart and see how that goes. Do that. This guy comes out here and goes in there. And this guy, oop, one too far. Comes out there. All right. Well, let's see if I know how colors work. Is this purple? It is purple. All right. So now we need to paint a circle. 
We have two of these mixers going. Well, the extractor is only 0.8, so I'm getting 0.8 out. And this is also going to give me 0.8, of course. And a painter is 0.5, so I need two painters. Do I want, I think I want the color coming in on this side in this case, right? And then I do that, and this color can come here, and that color uses the tunnel over. And then this guy splits into two. I'm gonna have him come up and tunnel under here. That guy goes there. This guy comes over and pops into there. All right, so now we should have purple circles. That one's purple circles. This one, yeah, purple circles. Nice. Okay, so we gotta get it up and over to there. I kind of want to delete a lot of that stuff. I mean, I can always remake a lot of it, so... And it's just eaten up a whole lot of the area near the hub. So, uh, goodbye. Goodbye, buildings. It was nice knowing you. You did your job very, very well, but uh, you're done doing it. We got bigger fish to fry more exciting new fish even that was one off ah well screw it good enough alright so there's a whole lot of that to only make a few of these I need to make more Painters seem to be slowing us down, but this seems balanced enough for me, honestly. So, let's do it again. Hmm, maybe I'll build another one here. Paint them. Combine them and combine them here. All right, nice. Uh, maybe we do one more of these. All right, so we got three purple circle making factories now. Those should all be coming up here and flowing into the hub. So we can actually look here I like this screen. Um, I don't know what this button does. Oh, I can change how many I'm making. Okay. I want per second. What is this? Down. Down. Four a second, 9.6 a second. I don't know what that button is doing. Hmm. But I do like that you can look at this and see what your delivery rates are over time. What's interesting is you can see some of these little like humps. It's kind of like a cyclical period and maybe that means I should look at the factory and see, you know, am I getting a backup somewhere? So we're really expecting to see like this star shape, this flat line. And you can kind of see that in the purple circles. We get this flat line and then you can see we make the second one, we get a flat line and the third one, we get a flat line. So that means we're doing pretty good. Pretty even, we're not getting any, uh back up somewhere. Oh, this guy accidentally cut him off. Do I still need that shape even? I do, but not really. Maybe I can try to make this shape here get faster extraction from it. So it looks like a blue and a green combination to make that like cyan. So let's just check that before we start going crazy. Yep, it is. All right. Okay, so we're gonna need blue and cyan and then this star shape. So 
let's do that. And again, color mixer is 0.6 and the extractor is 0.8, so I want two per. Let's just go ahead and set up a bunch of them. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basically anything in a multiple of two. So I need one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more layer. And that should give me eight. This guy's gonna go there, you go there. Ooh, we finished the level. A merger variant. It accepts two inputs and merges them into one belt. Oh, nice, so we can do it in a single block instead of using two. Neat. All right, well, let's finish off this shape. Oh, actually, it's the exact shape we need to make. Look at that. Already ahead of the game. We already knew it, you know. Just that good. Oh, it kinda, kinda messed up all my green. Let's wait on that one. We'll figure that out. Uh, we need four greens, three, four, and we have to do that same shape here. A four to eight mucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So now we need to get them into there. Hmm, no. Is this gonna work? How is that gonna work? Do I want the bottom one to come here and then the next one to come here? Or do I want like this one to go all the way across? Let's try to get that bottom one all the way across. Okay, so these are gonna have to move down by a few. So let's just do that now. Can I like cut? Oh, I need blueprints. Yeah, that stinks. All right, well, let's build these out and then we can We'll know what place to put them in. Did I have one too few? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, right, this blue one I never finished. All right, well, we got that upgrade. Hmm. This one will go here. And then this one. We'll go here somehow. We'll have to figure out how to get that blue one over. I guess it could just go all the way around. All right, so these go at 0.6. Painters go at 0.5, so two to one. One to one is probably good enough, but not the best. We gotta be the best. Can I flip it? Oh, you can. That's what the variants are for. Okay. So I want pieces coming in that side and paint going in that side. So I need 16 of these. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot. Um, maybe I want it going this way instead. start with that. So this extractor gives me 0.8. These are 0.5. So one extractor can feed... Wait, how much was the extractor again? 0.8 and 0.5. So one extractor can feed one. And a conveyor belt can do six items. So what if I do... 0.8 and 0.8 is 1.6 and this is 0 0.5 so I could do three with this combination which seems decent so let's maybe do that I 
Alright, those are in there. Bring the paint over. 